Hi everyone. So this is my solar generator that I use for the IC7300 when I'm at home or when I'm in the field. What I want to do is I want to do a short video on you know how I built my solar generator. I have a much longer video that kind of like shows you how I put it together in my train of thought. Um, but this video hopefully will be short, give you kind of like the details, quick details. So this box is a Harbor Freight uh, ammo box. And when you open it, the heart of this is the Buddy Pole Power Mini. Cool thing about the power, uh, the Buddy Pole Power Mini is that it has Anderson power poles. Here it has uh, two loads. Um, so I can connect um, uh, two radios, a light. Um, I'll, I'll talk about that in a little bit. But this is 35 amp continuous on this side. Here you have a, a connection for the solar panel and it's color coded. Cool thing about the um, Buddy Pole Power Mini. And uh, here you connect the battery and it also has a built in USB A, uh, 5 volt, 1. Point, I think 5 amp. This is the Buddy Pole Power Mini 1. The two will have uh, 4 amps. Now there's a bunch of wiring in here um, that I'll explain in the much uh, larger <laughs> video that I'll be posting. Um, but basically, load one has two, two Anderson power poles, so there's a Y connection here, and those um, will power my radios. And this load two, two is split up into different um, uh, components. Uh, a USB C and A on one side, and on the other side, it'll have uh, another Anderson power pole. Which, by the way, uh, right now the this light is being um, turned on. This 12 volt light, um, based on this, that's why this is connected, um, and it also has a um, uh, cigarette lighter, which I'll talk about very quickly here. But if you click here. You can see that it's draining uh, almost 400 milliamps. That's that light, 12 volt um, uh, light, which is pretty neat. At night, I can have the light, I can have the radio, and uh, so far I haven't, I haven't seen any interference um, with the light. Um, so, or the pot, or the um, uh, Buddy Pole Power Mini, by the way. So on this side here, this here is the uh, connection. This is a USB A connection from the uh, buddy pole so I can easily connect my phone to charge and maybe even a, um, a Raspberry Pi, probably a, th a Raspberry Pi 3, um, most likely. Uh, here, this is a switch to uh, turn on and off the um, USB uh, A QC 3.0 and the USB C. Easily, I can run a, a Raspberry Pi 4 on here, and I also can connect easily a kind of like an a um, uh, iPad. Uh, pro on there now the switch I had to switch because um, I didn't want this device to drain the battery if I kept it for a long time um, the light being turned on and this uh, display does drain the battery a little bit we'll leave that on on the side I have um, an Anderson power pole for the solar so the cool thing is um, here uh, in my office I have a solar panel on the roof and I have a bunch of wires in here and I know that this wire is for the solar panel and I'll just connect it in there um, very easily and I can charge the battery or I can use the bioenergy battery that's inside there uh, the 12 volt 12 amp um, it has a um, a barrel connection. Now looking at the 
other side of the solar generator here. Um, again, this is connected um, because um, I'm using the uh, this lamp that I have from IKEA. I just clipped the uh, the socket and then I just placed uh, an Anderson power pole. The bulb though is 12 volts, so you turn it off, you can turn it on. Well, let's uh, turn off the switch there, right? Just in case. Okay, there you go. Um, so that's for the light or any other device. 12 volt uh, cigarette lighter. I decided to put one of these. At first I didn't want to, but later on I decided, hey, I should use one uh, so I can plug in, you know, an inverter. And then here, these are orange color, and this where I can put the radio. I can put the IC705 and the um, IC7300, and it, it will easily run both, but not a problem. I usually run the IC7300 at you know 85 watts, 90 watts. I don't I don't crank it all the way up, but I'm pretty sure I can handle it. And again, this is more of a prototype. Um, it's really um, an interesting project. It has barrel connections, has a Wago connection, um, a lot of a variety of different parts that um, I was able to put together. Now, why build one of these boxes if I can get a Jackerty or some other, you know, um, really power box? just plug it in the wall. Well, first of all, it's customizable to my needs. Um, it has, um, well, <laughs> first of all, it has Anderson Power Pole, um, which is, you know, pretty unique for a power box. Um, 12 volt, of course, many have a 12 volt. Um, I guess another thing too, that uh, other than being customizable is more about the learning process. Uh, I got to learn um, you know, how to connect the switch, um, how to manage the wiring inside, the barrel connections, um, uh, so many different things to put this together. So uh, if uh, if you want, you can always pause the video, um, grab the uh, schematic, by all means, uh, ask me questions and comments. Um, if you uh, like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe, and I hope you have a great day. This is Frank, Whiskey Charlie, Zero Oscar.